Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I just received a massive shipment from AAAWave.com. They just sent me two of their new mining frames called the Dredge 2, and these are 10 GPU mining frames. And also, they sent over a bunch of these Arctic cooling 120 mil fans, uh, specifically the P12 version fan here and they also sent some PCIe 1 to 16x riser card adapter hubs and also some PCIe 1 to 4 uh, multiplier hub adapters. So in this video I'm going to be essentially building the frame and also just reviewing it giving you guys my thoughts of it and also we're going to build a mining rig in it as well okay we're going to put a motherboard power supplies GPUs we'll try to do 10 if not 8 we'll see how it goes and also, yeah, we're gonna put the fans on it, see how it behaves. I'm not gonna build a second one in this video, we're just gonna do a review of the first one, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. But before we do all of that, AAA Wave is actually gonna be giving one of these away, and I believe some fans as well. So, how to participate, I will have a gleam.io link down below, and uh, you guys just have to fill in your entries in there, and I will choose a winner seven days from now as this video is released, and you'll most likely be contacted by email. So good luck to the winner, and thank you to AAA Wave for the giveaway. Okay guys, let's get started. Let me just put all this stuff away, and uh, let me unpack the Dredge 2 10 GPU frame on this desk here so you guys can see all the parts. All right, give me one sec. Okay, so this is what came out of the box exactly in that box right there. And it uh, looks like first things we see here is we got a instruction manual and it looks pretty nice. Uh, let me open it up actually. Okay, comparing it to their last instruction page, this definitely looks a lot better in my opinion compared to their old manuals. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, it looks much better and then has it on the back here and how to build it. Looks pretty simple to build, to be honest. Okay, you guys can see the instructions here. That is awesome, okay, that is good. All right, now it also came with this little thing right here. I'm assuming these are all the screws and yeah, it looks like there is a bunch of screws here. Let me take this out. And yeah, all the screws and brackets. It looks like power button as well. Motherboard standoffs, awesome stuff. Okay, that's good. And then we got the mining frame itself. It's got a plastic wrap around it. Uh, let me take that out. First thing I noticed when I took out all the parts is some of the edges are pretty sharp. So I felt like I was almost gonna cut my finger. Some of the edges definitely feel like you could cut your finger potentially. So be careful, be careful about that. But anyways, there's the AAA Wave logo. That looks pretty slick, looks very nice. And I think that's the only place where the logo is. And my first impression is, I think I'll be able to build this frame pretty quick. So there's the base right here, right? And here's the fan grill part, and then the two sides. And I guess this is the bracing for either the fans and uh, GPUs. And there's another bar here. I guess is, this is for a cross to hold the GPUs. All right, so guys, I'm gonna time myself to build this. And there's the manual here. I'm gonna see how fast it takes me. So you guys will see this all built in three, two, one okay this <laughs> I'm gonna say right away this is the fastest mining frame I have ever built in my life and there's the time you guys can see seven minutes and 45 seconds I would say knock off another 45 seconds because I was also looking at the manual at the same time and so I counted all together I only used about 18 screws to build this whole mining frame. All right, so before I build the whole rig, I just wanted to show you guys some things uh, for people that may wanna buy this, okay? So first things first, at the top here, the bar, you can change the height if you want. You can go to this second spot here to bring down the support bracket, right, that holds the GPUs, which you guys can see right there. And then also the support here that holds the bottom where for the riser, you can also bring that down. And also you can bring it over here if you wanted the metal bar here to go more towards this way at the back of the riser. So, you know, you have the flexibility to do that. I found that to be pretty cool, really easy. The greatest thing actually about this mining frame when you're putting it together, they utilize these 
types of screws, okay? Like just the regular PC screws. You guys probably know and seen these before. Similar to the other 12 GPU mining frame, the black ones you guys know I have out there in my crypto mining basement, which I love. And actually I may love these ones, but there is kind of one issue which I wanna show you guys here in a second. So I have a 3070 Ti here, just as an example that fits on this frame. You guys can see the general spacing, okay? And also, I forgot to mention, the top bar here has a bunch of the holes already. So you can do many different configurations, like, I don't know, 10 GPUs, eight GPUs, six GPUs, and you can space them out to however you like. But so, there you go. So with this 3070 Ti, there will be room for the 120 mil fans right here, okay? And then I have an RTX 3090 here, just to, just to give you guys an example. This is an Asus Strix. And you may notice something that I cannot fit this GPU from, from this end to this end because it gets stuck and I tried to like force it, but I, I really don't want to force it. And so yeah, I cannot fit an RTX 3090 on this mining frame. So that is kind of one drawback. If you were to use this Dredge 2 frame, just be mindful, 3090s, depending on the length, you may have an issue trying to put this in. So yeah, I, I wasn't able to push it in nicely. So yeah, I, I couldn't put this in. Like, yeah, it just, it just won't fit. It just gets stuck, you guys can see. Okay, and I tried to do it down this way, but it still gets stuck as right there, okay? Anyways, now, talking about uh, the frame itself in terms of the fans, you, can see, you guys can see there's a lot of holes to put 120 mil fans, which is just nuts, actually. And just looking at the AAA Wave website, I just wanted to see, you know, you can stack them pretty high, it seems. Three high, maybe four, and uh, yeah, look at all the fans on this picture, it's just insane, <laughs> just insane. Probably a lot of airflow. But yeah, just to show you guys, this is the price, $170 on AAAWave.com. I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested. Okay, so yeah, you guys know the price and actually comparing it to the other AAA Wave frame you guys have seen before, the other 12 GPU mining frame, these are 175. You guys know this mining frame. I, I don't know if I like it more than the 12 GPU frame. I guess I have to put on all the parts, motherboard, power supply, it looks like there's a lot of room. I got the motherboard standoffs already. Okay, so I'm gonna do all that right now. You guys will see this whole rig built with a motherboard PSU, and uh, I'm gonna decide which GPUs I'm gonna put in here, probably 6, 30, 70 Ti's, all right? So you guys will see this filled in three, two, one. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions and just, just reservations regarding this mining frame that I am going to just tell you all. So I have six 3070Ti's in here and you guys know that this frame is capable of handling 10 graphics cards, okay? So depending on the graphics cards you're gonna be using on this frame, like for instance, I'm using 3070 Ti's and these cards can get really hot in terms of the memory temperatures as these have GDDR6X memory. And so uh, for example, if you're mining Ravencoin on these cards, then expect to have them pretty hot. And so my thinking was with these GPUs, the spacing, they have to be pretty spread apart or else uh, if I had them close together, like for instance, if I did eight 3070 Ti's, then they would be a lot closer together and then we would probably run into thermal throttling issues or heat issues with the GPUs, right? Then they'll lose hash rate. And then if you're using like smaller graphics cards, like I have a 3060 Ti here or maybe, you know, 1660 Ti's or 1660 Supers or just smaller form factor GPUs like this, then potentially you could do 10 of these or maybe eight of them on this frame. And it would be perfect because depending on the GPU, then you'll be able to cool them a lot better versus uh, 3070Ti's or maybe 3080's or even 3090's if you could fit the 3090's on here. So yeah, that's kind of what my biggest like reservation, not, it's not a con per se, it's just you gotta be mindful of the GPUs you're gonna be putting on this frame. And so yeah, I actually did put in all of the fans, I don't know if you guys noticed, there's 13 fans on here right now. So there's four on this side and they're gonna be blown in this way and then I have another five on the back or front, depends how you look at it, going this way, and then I have another four fans going this way. And so, you know, these fans that came with the frame that, you know, AAA Wave sent me, these are pressure-optimized Arctic Cooling P12 fans, and really, the CFM on these are only 56.3 CFM, so 
the, the airflow out of these are pretty low in my opinion. I mean, I would probably, you know, if you were to buy all these fans, it might cost the same as like a floor fan, and that would have a lot more airflow than these little tiny fans. But anyways, we're gonna try it out, definitely turn it on. But I, I have a little bit more reservations I wanna talk with you all. So down here, I have two power supplies, two HP server PSUs, 1200 watt PSUs, and then I'm utilizing a ZSX board from Parallel Miner that has you know the 24 pin, eight pin CPU for the motherboard, which I'll show you guys the motherboard. I'll go on the other side there. And I have an X11 breakout board from Parallel Miner using on that side. So I have three 3070 Ti's plugged into each power supply, all right? Hopefully you guys understand that. And so I have enough power capacity to run these six GPUs with the two 1200 watt power supplies. Now, the fans, they require obviously, you know, three pin power for the fans. And so I had 13 fans here. I actually almost added another five fans on the other side as it can take another five over here, okay? You guys can see the holes you know, we can add five more. So that would be 18 120 mil fans on this frame, which is just nuts, just nuts. But the potential issue, which it may not be an issue for some, you'll need to have fan, you know, hubs or fan controllers or whatever to power the fans. Luckily, I had a Cooler Master fan controller and as well as on the ZSX board has a bunch of fan ports as well on the breakout board. So I have pretty much this half side of the fans going into the breakout board and then I have this other side of the fans going into this Cooler Master fan controller which runs on SATA. So I hope that will be enough power to run these fans. We'll see when, once I turn it on and yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the motherboard I'm using. It is a bit dark here, but I am using one of these motherboards from Bees CryptoMining.ca. This is an Asus Strix B250 motherboard, gaming motherboard. And uh, yeah, it's got six PCIe slots, but also has two M.2 slots, and it has the M.2 to PCIe adapters as well. So I thought I would try out this motherboard and see how it goes. I'm not using the M.2 adapters, but maybe I can in another video, so. And so now I just wanted to just talk about the spacing in this frame. I love the spacing. There's a lot of room, all right, as you guys can see. Like normally it has spacing for the ATX PSU as there is a placeholder for that right there. But since I'm using server PSUs, the 12 waters it fits perfectly under here now if we were to compare this to the 12 GPU mining frame I did have issues trying to fit server PSUs in that frame because it, it's definitely a lot less space on the 12 GPU mining frame but because this triple-a wave frame is much wider right we have a lot more room down below here okay so that's just one thing I wanted to talk with you guys I guess that's a that's a pro with this frame except with the 12 GPU mining frame it has two levels essentially that you could fit you know 12 GPUs or six GPUs you guys know I like those frames because I like the density of those and I like the spacing of them as well okay so depending on the GPUs you're using you know the spacing is very important because the temperatures and heat and all that kind of stuff okay so I had one more final thought I guess a con is that if you were to stack these frames that it would be pretty tight in my opinion Look at that, it'd be pretty, t I don't even think it would fit because the PCIe, well, I'm using 3070 Ti's and these are the biggest coolers on the market in my opinion. And so if you were to stack it, it would fit right there, right? Another of these mining frames sit right on top. You guys saw that picture. And so I think these PCIe plugs and the cabling would probably not fit right above it, right? It would probably, you guys can see the bottom of this frame that, uh, yeah, it wouldn't, it probably wouldn't work, all right? So, huh. Yeah, depending on the GPUs that you have, depending on the height of them, right? So this 3060, for an in instance, it isn't higher than the PCIe I.O. you know bar here, the slot here. So, but the 3070 Ti is definitely much higher than you know the smaller GPUs. So again, another thing to be mindful of when you're going to be buying this frame, if you want, the height of the GPUs may be an issue if you are going to stack these frames. All right, guys. This wouldn't be a mining video if I didn't turn this thing on and you know we'll see what the hash rate is, the power consumption, all that good stuff. Obviously this is going to be nearing the end of this video. So I have everything plugged in, the PCIe cables, I did the cable management the best I could. These fans are, you know, the wiring here isn't going to hit the fans. So you guys can see how I did it. I cable managed the best I could and 
down here as well. We're using a 120 gig Kingston SSD. It's over here. And yeah, it also came with a power button as well on the, uh, the mining frame here. You guys saw in the beginning. So yeah, I plugged it in. But anyways, guys, let's turn this on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it's not turning on. Oh. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm using the ZSX boards. I gotta press the power button on here first and I do have the floppy cable that notifies the other breakout board to turn on. So here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. These other fans are not working. Okay, but the GPU's turned on. Did the motherboard turn on? No, the motherboard did not turn on. So, I, yeah, I gotta hit this power button now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, okay, the motherboard turned on. Oh, and then these, <laughs> these fans turned on. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, that's, that's interesting. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go into the motherboard BIOS and maybe set some settings. Gen 1, 4G decoding. Uh, you know, disable the HD audio, serial port, whatever. But man, this this rig looks pretty good. Now, I just want to feel how the airflow is here. All right, not bad. Yeah, I feel, oh yeah, I feel a lot of air. Obviously, these fans, I guess that's another thing, a reservation is that uh, the top 120 mil fans is just going to hit this GPU. And uh, I guess we got some good airflow on the bottom fans that go into the power supplies. So on this side as well, even. So that's pretty nice. But uh, I, guess, I guess these GPUs in the middle are going to get the airflow from these three fans uh, realistically. So anyways guys, let me just see if I can see it in Hive OS and uh, set all the settings. Be right back. Okay, the rig shows up in Hive OS. I have all my overclocks and settings you guys can see right there. Power consumption in the software. And we are getting about 40 mega hash each mining Ravencoin. And the power consumption shows 1,442 watts. Okay, so let's go to the wall. I just want to verify the power consumption. Oh yeah, and here it's mining. You guys can see it's doing pretty well. It is feeling a little bit toasty. And uh, I do feel some airflow though, but anyways, let's look at the power. Okay, so we're not actually taking 4800 watts just off that rig. I do have a Gold Shell LT5 Pro plugged in in the same PDU as that uh, 3070 Ti rig. So we can see here, I know that the LT5 Pro is taking about 3150 watts. So the Delta is, I think, about 1700 watts. So that 3070 Ti rig is taking 1700 watts at the wall. All right, well, yeah, it looks like it's, it's good. It's definitely getting toasty. Let's see if we have any GPUs thermal throttling. Oh yeah, I think we got one. This one dropped down to 39.24 mega hash and it was at 40 before. So I wonder if we are thermal throttling. In Hive OS, we cannot see the memory temperatures but it looks like the temperatures are generally rising right now. We just started mining and we're losing hash rate it seems. So, hmm, I think depending on where I have this rig, if the ambient temperatures in my room is too hot, then I bet this thing would start thermal throttling like crazy. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. But anyways guys, this was a review of the AAA Wave, the Dread, two mining frame, 10 GPU mining frame. Obviously we can do six as well or any number as the bar here has all the holes so that you can do any variety of GPUs. Like I said before, be mindful of which GPUs you're using and your spacing because of thermal throttling, heat and all that kind of stuff. But anyways guys, just to conclude, yeah, I, I really like this frame. Otherwise, it seems to be pretty cool. Personally, would I buy this frame for you know my situation in my crypto mining basement? I don't think so. I've already went ahead and I already got the 12 GPU mining frames, so I'm going to be sticking with these. And yeah, actually the Dread 2, would be definitely a lot longer, so it wouldn't fit respectively on my shelves that I have here. So with the 12 GPU frames, I do have a bit of density as uh, you guys can see the two levels, right? So anyways, that's it. This video is probably extremely, extremely long. 
Let me know what you guys think of this rig and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you AAA Wave. If you guys are interested, link down below. If not, tell me why, tell me your reasons, all right? I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one and peace out. Oh yeah, don't forget about the giveaway guys. Link down below, Gleam link down below if you guys wanna win one of these mining frames, all right? Peace, peace.